The Guillotine Cartel. I'm just like, fuck, forget my coffee or whatever the fuck. Yeah, and I, I'm, I'm a coffee drinker too. Yeah, for real, yeah. All right, we'll go three and then action and then we'll start from Ghost Trip. Cool. All right. So. That's yeah, but uh, um, <clears throat> it was like one of the shows that we didn't like. Fuck, it was like literally like zero people there and shit. But oh, it, it's one my of those. God. Yeah, and it was funny too because we're like, we didn't know who this dude was, but homie was just like, like I knew who he was because he's like, he's like, I don't know, big shit in like the art world and shit. Right, right. At right. least to me, is you know uh-huh. what I mean. And whenever I met him, I was just like, oh shit, it's fucking ghost shrimp. You know what I mean? And if you look at his art, it's fucking it's, dope. Yeah, it's really dope, man. It's more a, uh, uh, you know, cartoonish kind of looking, but right. it's. Really I like I, I like fire, that man. shit. It's really dope. I, I, I dig that shit. And um, yeah, he was one of the people there, and I, actually, what I think. Somebody from Cruces was at that show. No shit. Yeah, this is a ho- this is a show we did in Hollywood and shit, and yeah, there was like very little people there and shit. But either way, it was just. A I've um, show. I've been through a lot of those shows actually with like uh people who are like a uh, uh, bigger names also that we'll okay. be on tour with or whatever, and uh we're gonna follow them up there or whatever. And there'll be like a a, a bar or whatever or a set. And it will be like minimal fucking people. Like I don't know if the promoter didn't put it out there or whatever it might be, but like. I'd imagine that the promoter lost lots of money. Probably. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'd imagine. I mean, if if it's a, a local, you know, type show, pff, whatever. But if it's like some big name. Yeah, like, yeah, like with the, get like yeah. a, a headliner or someone on tour that's passing by. Mm-hmm. And be like, hey, uh, the homie's going to be over here. We'll do a show this day for this much money. And they'll be like, all right, well, let's do it. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, it's weird too because I've known, I've seen shows like that, and the main artist won't play unless there's people there. And shit. I've seen even, shit even like if that. they're still getting paid, you right, know what I mean? Right. And it's like, well, fuck, like, what can you do? You know what yeah. I mean? Like at that point, it kind of sucks, but whatever. But I've I, always, I've always wondered that. Like, it's like, well, you're still getting paid. Like, yeah. Fuck, you know what I mean? Do you know what I? Oh, when I, uh, what I hated when I was in the local circuit. Like um, when people will be like, uh, they'll bring their whole family and everybody to the fucking uh, concert or whatever, and then right when their set is they just done, bounce. Everybody goes. It's like, damn, wow. Yeah, yeah there'll, there'll be like twenty, twenty five people. Yeah, their family, yeah, they're like, like shit. Like, shit. Like, Good shit. Let's go. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, yeah. Why? <laughs> Later, like, there's a bunch and... of fucking people here. <laughs> Wait, let's just you know chill. I don't know. It's one of those things with uh, music and shit. But I think the more you do music, like, you know, even for, like, those cats that left, you know, when their set was over or whatever, like, if they pursue music, which a lot of fucking people don't, you know what I mean? Yeah. They'll, they'll just do, you know, a little show here and there or whatever, and then they'll be like, fuck it, you know, I'm just going to work a job or whatever. Yeah. But... They do pursue it. They'll start looking back and be like, "Man, maybe I should have stayed for these shows." Because it's that's a shitty feeling, you know what I mean? Like, yes. Yeah. When people fucking show up, do their shit, and then take their whole crowd with them and shit. Yeah. But, I don't know. You think it's a small town mentality type deal, or? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I, I, de- I definitely do because like um, if they're not gonna. They're like, this is my fucking crowd. Fuck you guys. Yeah, they're not. They're not going to do that to like if they're paying for a headliner. They're gonna wait to the very end. Yeah, yeah. So these sure. local shows are gonna be like they get all their hood over there and whatever the hell and everybody go in there and then they're not really in there for the music. They're in there to watch their homie perform. Yeah. Cause you always get a few that stay. Oh yeah, totally, man. Yeah. Cause What's they're curious. They're curious. They're like, oh, you know. Yeah. My homie's tight. I wonder if this dude's tight. You know? yeah, 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 definitely. Especially if you freaking like. Murder the show Like if you kill that shit Yeah And that, that's why I tell a lot of people That you know Are doing music They're like Yeah Fucking no one shows up To my show This and that It's like Well I was like I always tell them Like yo It's It's not gonna be Your you know Close homies Or whatever That like You know Are gonna be there Every single fucking show yeah, It's yeah, gonna be gonna Fucking be strangers Damn right That are gonna be like Yo man That shit was dope let me get that Instagram, be, yep. Facebook, all that shit. And become uh, uh, active supporters. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? exactly, man. Yeah. 
And I mean, that's that's true. Like everywhere I've been, they're just like, dude, that shit was fire, blah blah. blah. Yeah, let, I still let, get, let me get your Instagram I still get that or whatever, to this man. Day and I'll be like, I, I don't, really, I don't really do music too much anymore. I haven't updated like really anything, because I mean, I definitely well, I got busy with the other ventures, though. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I still get those to the, this day, and like, I, I'll be all like, give me your email, and I'll in, email you some unreleased tracks that I, I've had, and they get all yeah. happy about that kind of shit. Yeah, that's usually what I do. I just like, yo, uh, give me your, uh, follow me on Instagram, I'll follow you back, whatever, and then uh, <clears throat> we'll have that, you know, once we're connected, then I'm like, all right, you know, here's, if they hit me up, like I tell them to, and they usually do, I'll give them the links to all the music. You know, yeah, like, hell, yeah. Here's like people I fuck with, blah, 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 you know, whatever. And that's how you build fans, man. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. And then like, it, not, I just say that too. Like this next uh, guillotine album coming out with like uh, all these people coming out. You're on it mm-hmm. multiple times. A lot of people. Uh, everybody who interacts with us will get a free copy. Like a, okay, a, that's a, a free copy for for everybody. Word up. Are you uh, are you gonna do like a uh, like a CD release or you, you like all digital or what do you? What do you oh, think well, no, I mean um. We're definitely gonna do not all digital, but we're gonna do most of it digital for this for for here. Okay. And then we're going to uh, we're building a street team, <clears throat> gear team here in Albuquerque that's gonna help push it out there also on like uh for our merch and okay. getting more people to uh, come and get interviews and. I was gonna ask you, uh, cause nowadays you know a lot of people are straying away from like uh, CDs and like yeah, uh, like usually people that go to shows nowadays either want like a uh, like a download card or they yeah. want like a, a USB with like a gang of shit in there or yeah. not, or just your album whatever just your album yeah yeah um do you think like the CD is still like something to have whenever it comes to like your merchandise and stuff or do you do you feel like yeah. uh, cuz i i mean cuz now it's backwards people are buying more vinyl than CDs you know what i mean yeah yeah, yeah. vinyl be fucking dope to get your shit on but like CDs are definitely Definitely like uh, dying out, but uh, but there's always people there. They're, they're, they're gonna, they're it's gonna, like fifty fifty. Yeah, because I, 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 I when I go to fucking like a uh, car shows and big events and like uh, uh, a lot of like um underground shows with good turnouts, I definitely flip units. Okay, but like but like CDs though, right? Yeah, yeah okay, CDs. Okay, uh, I, I definitely flip them. But like back in the day, I used to go to these damn gas stations and just set up like at a freaking Sonic or the mall or somewhere and flip CDs all day. Okay. And like now, people are not really doing it like that. Yeah. Anymore. I mean, like people don't want to be buying. I mean, like nowadays, that. like I don't even have a CD player. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I see. After I, I see that shit a lot. After dude. I fucking upgraded all this dope ass shit, this freaking uh, <laughs> spaceship right here. There's not a CD player in this shit. I went and got that external CD player right there. Oh, shit. That was crazy. Yeah, and then, like, I was on PC for years, you know what I mean? That shit has a...